Oh, hello. Welcome to the Bund. Hi. Millions and millions and millions of people. It's our third week in Shanghai and we have had a very, very busy time. It's been manic. We've done so many different things. So one of the first things we did was go to the Bund. If you've Googled Shanghai, you've seen a picture of the Bund. Yeah, it's one of the most iconic places in Shanghai. It's the bit on the front of the river and there's a classic photo of it from 20 years ago to now that I keep on looking at because 20 years ago it was flat. Now it's huge. So the Bund has got some of the tallest buildings in the world. It's got the Shanghai Tower, it's got the Pearl Tower, and some other really tall buildings. And we're not sure if it's the tallest in the world. The James has spent so much time Googling and trying to work out. Every website is different, so we'll go with the tallest in the world. Yeah, so it's got the tallest building in the world. Fact. Fact. Um, when we were here, it was really strange because this was what people were telling us that would happen before we got here. There's these two guys and they kept on like waving at me and they passed me their phone and I was like, oh, you want me to take a photo of you two? And then he was like, no, 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 no. And then he was like this and getting a selfie of me, got a selfie stick out. He was, him and his mate were getting selfies. Next thing, they've got Becca as well. I was just taking all the sights and trying to squeeze through other people. And his family sort of bring over this little girl to me because they want to take a photo with me. Sorry, sorry. strange experience. A weird situation. It was, but the little girl didn't really know what was going on. She was sort of looking no. at me thinking, who is this strange lady that I'm having I'm now with? hugging with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was bizarre, wasn't it? It was strange. It's amazing though. Absolutely breathtaking. They've come to see this. Ended up with pictures of uh. this. <laughs> There were so many people. We got off the train and we were just overwhelmed by the amount of people at the train station. Now, I've seen pictures of Shanghai and the crowd, but actually being sardined in and trying to squeeze past everybody was quite an experience. It was almost like leaving a gig busy. You were like shuffling your toes, you're yeah. trying to get past. Yeah. Um, but these people are used to it. Um, <coughs> they seem very orderly. Apart from when they're in a bloody taxi. Yeah. That's not oddly. No. We'll show you some of that at some point. Talk about thunder. So we've experienced some absolutely crazy storms in Shanghai. Most of them have happened in the evening, but some have happened during the day. But the most incredible storm happened last Sunday evening. It's about 10 o'clock at night and we've got all our washing on the balcony and it started thunder and lightning. I'll show you. This is from our balcony. Whoa! Lightning in Shanghai is crazy. concentrate, do some schoolwork, whilst James was outside filming. But I, I just couldn't resist. It was absolutely amazing. Now, I've experienced storms in the UK and in Europe, but none have made me actually quite scared like this one d did here. Oh, it's manic. I don't actually think the footage does it justice because no, it, was, it was crazy. Hours, didn't yeah. It? Some of our friends live on the 15th floor and they said their windows were shaking. Luckily, down here on the 6th floor, it wasn't too bad, was it? Well, the camera looks like it was shaking at some point. Yeah, I think that's... That might be me, like... Yeah. <laughs> and steady hand. <laughs> yeah. So we're definitely gaining lots of different weird experiences, but one of them has definitely been the food. Yeah. Like, me and Becca were mainly vegetarian before moving out and Believe me, that's been a struggle. 
they just don't have vegetarians in China. You can ask for food to be vegetarian, but that, that just means they cut the meat up really, really small so you can't really see it. Yeah. Or we... they'll put prawns in it, or just bits of meat, or they just sort of smile at you, give you your food, and it's just meat. Unless you're at more of like a westernised place where you can get burger and chips, you, then you can get a veggie burger or something. We don't really want that, we're not here for that, are we? No, so it's been a struggle trying to, but we've just kind of given it up for the first few weeks just to try and experience everything. Like when we went to the place at the fashion park the other day, we just got a set menu and they brought so much stuff out. I think the actual reason why we went there was because we were told that you could eat good vegetarian food there. We think we got the wrong restaurant. Although the food was delicious, it was an experience. The waitresses couldn't speak any English, which is fine because we're in China and we are the foreigners yeah, who can't exactly. speak their language. But because there were so many of us and we were with a lot of new friends, we just decided it would be easier to get a set menu. And with regards to ordering the food, not a problem. We didn't have to go into the nitty gritty of who wanted what or whether we wanted starters. It was just this. It was just constant. And so the food kept out. coming out. I don't even know what we had. I was just eating. All sorts. Yeah, there was like a nice mushroom dish that I liked. At this point, I was still persevering with being a vegetarian. James, on the other hand, oh, I didn't. Got, I got deep into everything. James got peer pressured into attempting to eat a chicken's head. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's, and it was peer pressure at its finest. It was peer pressure. Hopefully Richie won't mind just showing us the picture of him staring at the chicken's head. Because that's quite a, a good one as well. <clears throat> so as you can see, our friend Richie is inspecting the chicken's head um, very seriously um, before James um, attempts to eat it. I didn't actually eat it. I put my teeth around it and I realised it was a lot of bone. Oh so. gosh. At this point I left because I just... Yeah. I just couldn't handle it. It just wasn't for me. But if you want to eat meat... Well... So, there are a few of our experiences so far and you're going to get a lot more of them because I just feel like everything is worth filming at the moment it's just we're into this like weird world of it's just so different so we're both really enjoying our jobs school is going really really well I've met some lovely people and my class is fantastic as well my job's going really well I'm really enjoying it my favourite part so far are the lunches because I'm getting to go out with real Chinese people so they're showing me different places every time and I've gone to a Chang'anese, a Cantonese, udon noodle place, just every day is a different thing. So I'm so envious. I'll try and get some more videos of all this and the best thing about it is just so cheap compared to like what we've been paying like at the fashion park which is by where we live, it's just so cheap. Yeah. So and I'll try and get some videos of all that stuff because it's just so interesting. So we've, s I was about to say we've settled in, but no way, we haven't settled in yet. No way yet. Daily routines are still somewhat of a struggle. Getting around our local area. I know that the market is the left out of our building and then the second right. And James knows the way to the metro stop. But apart from that, but I tell you what, I'm never walking there because it's just so hot at the moment. Yeah, the climate is absolutely boiling. I've never experienced humidity and heat like it. No, it's ridiculous. But it's one of the experiences. Yeah. That's why we've come here. We're having a fantastic time. We do miss everybody at home. Thank you very much for watching. We'll keep the updates coming. If this is your first time watching, please click subscribe. And if it isn't and you haven't clicked subscribe, Please subscribe anyway. Shout <laughs> yeah. out See you next week. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So my little shout out Chen. Yeah, is it right though? Yeah. Hello. It's our third week in Shanghai. It's not, is it? No.